Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Tricky Acid and welcome back to another Titanfall 2 video. In this vid, I will be your financial advisor, advising you all on what to spend your credits on. But before we begin, a quick message about Gamerlink. It's an app that can really benefit the Titanfall 2 and gaming community. I'm on the app and connecting with gamers has never been easier. In fact, ever since I mentioned Gamerlink in a previous video, you guys have been amazing. You have been joining up, adding me as a friend, and I'm still scrolling through and trying to add all of you guys back. Also, let me know how your experience has been on the app so far. For those not signed up yet, Gamerlink is a looking for group app that lets you connect with other players with similar playstyles, make new friends, chat to each other, send out beacons to notify other gamers and more. The app is available free on both iOS and Android and to download it, it's super easy. Just click on the link in the description box below. Now when it comes to credits in Titanfall 2, I know a lot of you are already aware but I want to brush upon it very quickly on how to earn those credits. When you play online you earn merits and for every merit that you earn in multiplayer you will receive one credit. I did make a video on how to level up fast in Titanfall 2 where I show how to maximize the amount of merits you can earn per game which may help you earn more credits. But ultimately it's all about playing online, earning those merits and making that money. So with the credits you've been earning, what should you be purchasing with them? Well first of all, let's discuss on possibly the best method on managing your credits and what to spend them on. In regards to managing your credits, I'm sure a lot of you have already regened, but for those new players I suggest for the first 50 levels to try and avoid using your credits, as you never know what you may like and what suits your playstyle. Because as you're leveling up, you're already aware you'll be unlocking new weapons, titans, etc. So it will be good to try out the new weapons that you've unlocked amongst other unlockables. This way you can get a good feel of the different kind of weapons, the titan kits and more that work best for you. Like once you've got a good understanding of what you like best, then I'd suggest you can start spending that big pot of credits that you'd have collected by the time you've reached level 50 or if you've decided to regen and started buying those weapons, pilot kits etc that worked for you. Every primary weapon is priced at 100 credits each and each secondary weapon is going for 50 credits each. And anything you purchase with credits, even if you regen, they will stay unlocked for you forever. In fact, if you regen, you'll still keep your credits, they'll never go away unless you spend them. Now in regards to spending those credits, besides you guys buying what suits you best, here are my opinions on what things you most probably should spend your credits on. I'm not going to mention any specific weapons, because like I said, everyone is different and weapons are a matter of preference, depending on how you play. Hence why I said earlier, it's best to wait until you've leveled up and unlocked everything naturally through leveling, so you can get a feel of the various weaponry and see what works best for you. But in regards to what I feel you guys should buy as permanent unlocks with your credits, here are my options. Let's kick it off with the Titans. Firstly, there is no harm in purchasing the Titans. Titanfall is all about the Titans end of the day and they're not expensive to buy. So to save the hassle, you could purchase them straight away. Ronan costs 10 credits, Tone is 15 and Legion at 20 credits. However, once purchased, I'd suggest don't bother with wasting your credits on the Titan kits, because if you've been playing the game for a while, you'd have probably unlocked a few Titan kits along the way anyway. And you'll end up unlocking all Titan kits before you reach level 10 with any Titan as well. You can see the different prices from the standard Titan kit which sells each thing at 5 credits, which then jumps to 24 credits for each modification in the specified titan kits and then it's 25 credits if you want warp 4 in the titanfall kit. A good example here is Scorch is level 6 right now but moving forward I had a few games with him and now he's level 8 and I've already unlocked this new mod in his titan kit so it's really not hard to get everything unlocked for the titan kits. Next up let's talk about boosts. All boosts go for 125 credits and you could purchase Dice Roll, it's a popular choice 
because you don't need to worry so much about buying uh, any other boost because the dice roll will rotate between all other boosts as you play online so you get a taste of a different boost each time also to unlock it you do need to be level 50 so you can see why it's a popular decision however even though it does have its perks spending your credits on it personally i'd save my money and if i were to buy a boost for one it would be the battery backup as our titans could always use some first aid so having an extra battery can always come in handy and also i'd buy the smart pistol because it just kicks ass and it's one of the best unlocks IMO the game has to offer. Now let's take a look at pilot kits. Bringing up kit 1, I'd spend my credits on phase embark. To unlock it, you need to spend 125 credits, and it's great for those who play Last Titan Standing. And overall, it's great how you can quickly jump in and out of your Titan super fast. Then when it comes to pilot kit 2, I'd invest in low profile because it works a charm, for when you want to mount a titan and steal its battery or are aiming to destroy it. Also low profile unlocks very late at level 40 so it's handy to have. Moving on to ordnance, I'd suggest purchasing the electric smoke, reason being you need to be level 22 to unlock it and once again is great to have. Electric smoke covers a decent area where no enemy pilot would dare to get caught in, and it's super effective against killing AI groups. Then we have the Tacticals. My personal favourite is Stim, however it's unlocked at level 3, so it's practically given to you within your first few games, so I'd never bother purchasing it. However, I do suggest purchasing Phase Shift, as you need to be level 26 to unlock it. A quick 180 credits towards it will permanently unlock it, and it can really get you out of some tricky situations. There is also Hollow Pilot, which unlocks at level 36. However, the criticism I've read about it is that the holographic cockpit gets eliminated far too instantly to even be worth the hassle. So, unless Respawn buffs up the durability of Hollow Pilots, I'd say just leave it. And when it comes to major low priority unlocks, I'd say they come under. Factions, executions, camos, you know, things that just don't make a big impact on gameplay. And that's it, guys. I hope this helped in providing some greater insight in purchasing things with your credits, as well as saving them for probably greater things in the coming future. Also, the Live Fire update is out on the 23rd of February, so watch out for the video on that. And with that said, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, type them up in the comment section below. Check out the Gamer Link app. Please give a like if you enjoyed the video. And make sure to subscribe for the latest and greatest in Titanfall 2. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.